Do you think the moment you shoot a turkey and it's flipped around that you should just bust out of the blind and go get them? Josh and he shot a nice bearded hen so the year is starting off just perfect. I've got birds kind of like if I had a guess maybe three four hundred yards that way and about 200 yards over that way so I'm in a good spot I'm like slam right in the middle of them. So I'm just gonna have to be patient this morning to see if one comes along this top here. It's a beautiful morning. Let's let them know that we're here. First time out here in Illinois. Just got back from Tennessee and was able to harvest that nice bird with Josh there. But I'll tell you what, this was uh, just an awesome hunt. I mean, they were gobbling this morning like crazy, but nothing close. I, I kind of was planning for about 9.30. I heard one gobble literally at 9.28. I'm like, all right, I got to sit a little bit longer. Sure enough, I hit that call a couple of times, heard another gobble. About 9.40 and all of a sudden he just came running in. Could not ask for a better hunt. Tell you what, if, you've not, if you haven't tried bow hunting turkeys, you're missing out because this here is a lot of fun. I know everyone talks about chasing with shotguns, but I'll tell you what, you get one with a bow, it is the, it's the best. Okay, well, it's April 19th. I'm packing up the truck, got all the decoys and all my stuff, my bow, but as I came home, I was surprised to find my uh, Vortex optics came back from the uh, warranty. So I dropped them on accident out in the field, smacked on a rock, and fortunately busted um, some of the optic and uh, couldn't use it. So I set them in literally before I left, I think last week. This is the unboxing. I have no idea if they're gonna fix it or give me a brand new set. I would hope fix. 
because they are my lucky binoculars. Vortex Viper HDs, 10x42s. Oh, baby. I should have taken the seal number. These look awfully clean, but I think uh, I think it is the same ones and they just cleaned them. But guys, Vortex Optics and their warranty, no joke. All right, well, going turkey hunting this weekend. Now I can see them from across the field. Hopefully I can get it close enough. I'm gonna take the kids out this weekend. So uh, we'll see you in the morning. Gonna be chasing, it'll be the first time out for me this year. I've had the stealth cams going and uh, I got a couple, probably like one, maybe two I've seen. Uh, so it's gonna be a grind, but we'll see if we can get it done and maybe get the kids out. Here we go, bow hunter die. turkeys out here. What the? What if I had 10 turkeys out here? I text you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was busy. Less than all the gunshots. Jeez. Like... The arrow shoots quite a bit lower than your sight.
I was about to come in, now we're ready to go. Because I had the lucky face paint on and literally four jigs as I was doing the interview walk up. <laughs> so they came in, hung around in the decoys for a little bit, and then just walked off to the south. I just got the text, the kids are up. And uh, they'll probably be over here within an hour or so, and hopefully before the time show up. Cross our fingers. Cemetery. Walk along the cemetery edge. Crawling. There's a lot of birds. We're gonna have to army crawl. You guys ready for this? This is gonna be interesting. They're all still in the field. There's like okay. 30 birds. Thanks. All right, come here. You guys got to stay right behind me. We're going to have to do some crawling. Okay? Come here. Drake, get on your knees behind Kendall. Okay? You guys 
gonna stay right in line with me.
Well, it didn't go as planned, but success. This is so much fun and I'm gonna be able to go back and share this with my kids. What a, what a blessing. So let's, uh, he's definitely expired. I'm gonna pick him up, walk him out of here with my bow and go show the kids. We got him, guys. Good job. Good yeah. job. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Okay, well, it is April 19th, and it's season two here in Illinois, and well, that's about the quickest success I think we've had day one. Yep. And, and what a pop a turkey. Yeah, and we got a pop a turkey this time. Last year, I think it was, we got a Jake together, and this year, you guys are my lucky charms. So uh, this morning, um, I got out here nice and early. Dad and did. And Papa didn't eat breakfast. And he didn't eat breakfast. And so <laughs> we came over to the north side of the property. We've had stealth cams out right over in the corner and had field scan mode and been seeing turkeys come up here. Normally we're all the way on the south side of the property at Turkey Hill and the cameras, there's nothing. So, you know, we get two days to get it done and uh, that intel was perfect. His Otherwise we wouldn't have been over here. Yep, they are beaten up. So, was able to bring the two kids out, and uh, you know, this morning we heard them gobbling. They came in. They just couldn't get it close enough. They're at 60 yards. Gobble, they gobble, went off gobble. over the hill, and we're kind of debating whether to send the kids back. They're getting anxious, and then, uh, then Dad just all of a sudden spot them. They came over the hill, and it was a little chaos. We didn't know which bird. I don't know if we got it on film. We'll find out, but uh, what an awesome experience to share with my kids and my dad. Like and uh, we got a we got a big time down. So um, shot the, uh, I think, what did I say? The, the double cross, Spitfire double cross arrows, and it did its job. I didn't make the greatest of shot, but it uh, definitely knocked his wing out and uh, his leg. So couldn't go anywhere and I was able to chase him down. He buried himself down here and it expired. So what a successful day, April 19th. Love and turkey hunting, great th thing to get the kids out. Go hunter die! Go hunter die! Hey, hey, don't poke him in the eye. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Kendall, Kendall, be nice. Wow. What? He's already dead. 